How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Aaron here for those of you who are new to the channel. Here on Computer Dining Law we primarily do technology videos and today is no exception. It's in fact a special day. We have a very special unboxing here for the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Very special 2-in-1 laptop or tablet computer if you will. It runs full Windows 10, comes stock with Windows 10 Home. I will be upgrading it to Pro later, but back to the specs. We have an 8th gen i5 processor, a 256 gigabyte solid state drive, and 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory if I'm not mistaken. So let's get straight to the action and open this puppy up. As you can see, it has some beautiful packaging. The black looks really nice. There's another uh, color, I believe it's platinum. It's like a silver color. I prefer this, and so that's what we opted for. I'm going to open it up from this back side here. Got my trusty unboxing knife. And we're gonna do that very carefully along the seams. So not to, so as not to disturb anything unnecessarily. And we're going to do it along three sides only because you don't need to do it along four sides. All right, let's start with that. After we peel back the plastic, we'll actually flip over the whole computer. And let's open that slow, open top. Drum roll. All right, just like an Apple product, Microsoft had to build up the suspense, and I'm sure they uh, took a few notes, a few tricks from the Apple Playbook. Anyway, this is a pretty gorgeous device, as you can see here. A beautiful black slate. On the outside of this plastic here, we have a few notes, um, a few symbols, rather, that notate where the important buttons and sensors are on the device to uh, notify you, you know, the of the anatomy of the device without having to read the entire manual. So here you have a little power button symbol, volume up and down. Uh, I believe it's a, a face ID like, you know, uh, facial recognition unlock feature. Sensor, we have a front facing camera for video conferencing. A microphone, it looks like a display out, USB 3.0, charging, and here it appears to be. Uh, not quite sure what this is, but we're going to open it up and we're going to find out. All right, so first things first, we slide out the computer itself. Let's put the box down for a moment and put it to the side. Here's the computer. It's a beautiful slate around the back. It has a rear-facing camera with a label on the plastic, a rear-facing microphone, and a stand. And apparently, I guess that's what it was for. It tells you where the stand pops out. All right, so we're going to take off the plastic here. As you can see, we're going to carefully slide this out. And now we have removed the front plastic. We're going to try out, oh, it has a beautiful matte finish on the rear with a nice polished Microsoft logo, just sort of like an Apple logo you'd expect on the back of an iPad. So I am not surprised where they got their inspiration from. It's most likely from Apple, maybe a few other manufacturers, but we can see that Apple's success has really brought it out into the marketplace and quite frankly paved the way for Microsoft to take a full desktop OS, put it into a tablet form factor, and create their own niche uh, where Apple has not yet delivered. Um, anyway, we have a little stand. You can pop it out from the back here. It has a few different opening options. It has a low, it has a high rise rather option like so, and I believe it will go back for a low-rise drawing mode, which is very nice as well, but we're going to be using it in the high-rise mode. All right, let's see. The build quality feels very solid. Feels like a nice metal construction, quite honestly. If it's not metal, it has a metallic finish, that's for sure. The buttons have a nice click, nice detail to everything. Really very beautifully made. Looks like some sort of quick docking or video port. Um, I'll probably have to do some more research into that to find out exactly what that does, but if you know what it is, just leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. But anyhow, uh, let's see what else is in the box. We're gonna put this to the side, and we are going to check out the rest of the box. So here we have a couple compartments. In this topmost compartment, 
you can see we have a little pouch and inside the little secret pouch we have a little book that says Microsoft Surface Pro and inside that book let's see it gives you the anatomy it does tell you about the front facing camera the volume buttons everything we sort of went over the mini display port the kickstand oh and there's a micro SD card reader that's pretty slick oh yeah now I see it right on the right hand side below the USB the USB A port you have a an SD card slot right there that's pretty sweet so that SD card slot is a uh, micro SD card reader rather that's pretty sweet um, got the kickstand, headphone jack, uh, power button, all that kind of good stuff. Microsoft Windows Hello with Face Sign, and that's the Face ID like uh, feature. And apparently, it, ha it shows uh, three different stand heights. Okay, the highly vertical uh, stand height if you're going to be typing, a mid range stand height uh, if you prefer that, which is probably what I will be using this most likely uh, at this mode. And then you have a low height. Uh, you know, st uh, a, a low incline uh, for drawing and things like that. All right, it's a quick start guide. It tells you about battery health, preserving your battery once a month, let your battery drain below halfway uh, before charging it. Avoid leaving it plugged in 24 seven to keep the battery at the right temperature. It's an interesting point. Store your device in a cool, dry place when you're not using it. If you plan to store your device, for an extended period of time, chart it to 50% every six months to avoid complete battery drain. I think those are very helpful tips that people often overlook. A um, few different languages, so that's kind of cool little quick start guide and anatomy um, document. All right. Anyway, we'll get this back together later because oh, I got it back. Never mind. We have this little tiny pouch here. It's a little bit longer, and let's see. It's probably the power brick, but we're gonna find out very shortly. We're going to open it up from the side. Shake, shake, shake. Hopefully there's nothing too delicate. And yes, indeed, we do have the power brick, the wall adapter. Maybe I took it out of the wrong side, but I don't think I did. This has a cable that's kind of stuck along the walls. Yeah, it's kind of a wide power adapter to fit in the sleeve. Let's see how we're going to get this puppy out. Hmm. Anyhow, Good tug never hurt anyone, right? Here we go, let's put this to the side. Got your power adapter, AC adapter. It's got a very nice, small, compact construction. Uh, Two-piece, hook this little figure eight connector right into the side here. Two-prong wall adapter. Um, this is a very nice little charger. Let's see how this puppy goes. Honestly, never tried this before, so it's going to be the first time for all of us, I think. Uh, nope. Let's find out where it goes. Hmm. I think it goes in the side, but that would be too obvious, I suppose. Seems to like to go in this little side here. So along the side edge here. Oh. I see the micro SD, what I thought was the SD card slot, so this is very interesting. What I thought was the, SD, the micro SD card slot, which obviously was too large, and that's why I thought it was an SD card slot, is actually the charging port. The micro SD card slot is a very small port just to the rear of the device right behind the kickstand, which is very interesting. That's what it appears to be right there. And this larger SD card slot looking thing is actually the port for the charger. And it's somewhat magnetic, so you just pop it there, it just sucks right in. It's a nice sleek design, and you just route your cable however you please. And actually, it woke the thing up. It says, continue selected language, but we'll look at that maybe another time. Anyhow, I'm going to click that into sleep mode. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I think this is a beautiful device that we're going to get a lot of use out of. It's actually going to be used in a, uh, a work environment, not by myself per se, but I will be configuring it for a client of mine. And this, thank you to that client, you know who you are. Uh, this is a beautiful device, which I'm sure they will get many years of use out of, God willing, and uh, it should serve their purpose very well. The touchscreen should be fabulous, the color 
and the uh, contrast and the pixel density should be excellent on this device, not to mention it should be very quick. Um, the cabling system is all very beautiful. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that it has a USB-A out on this wall adapter, which is nice because I believe you can double it to charge uh, some sort of device that would need a USB-A, maybe a phone or some other device. So that's a nice dual feature wall adapter so you can take up less spots on your power strip. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the mess. If you want more content like this in the future, you want to see more tech videos, you want to see more reviews, definitely hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell for notifications, leave a comment please with your thoughts and opinions on this video, what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could do better. I'm always looking to improve, so I appreciate the feedback. Um, if there is anything you'd like to see in the future, please leave that in the comment section below as well. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, and uh, keep it real, keep it awesome, do what you love, and pursue your passions, and we'll see you next time in the next video. Peace out.